everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a reoccurring guest, Star. We're sitting in my car right now, and there's a bug. Okay, awkward. Really Whatever. So we're just got it. Anyways, like I was saying, we're just chilling in my car right now, gonna film a video about social media and like what you should and should not do on social media. The do's and the don'ts. Do's so and the don'ts. what are we gonna start off with? We should start off with Snapchat. Smoke shoot. Okay. Okay, so to start off for Snapchat, it's going to be pretty simple just because Snapchat isn't really a app that you do a lot on. You basically send pictures to people and they open them and screenshot them, whatever, if you're ugly. Um, you can put a story in, which is where you just upload pictures into your story so everyone on your list that you're friends with on there can see what you've been doing. Now, one of our pet peeves on Snapchat is definitely stories that are over 100 or 150 seconds. Now my thing is, is I feel like if you have, if you're out doing something like a concert or, you know, whatever, it's perfectly fine for me. I'm like, hey, you're turning up. Fun stuff. But I feel like if you're just like posting selfies over and over again or you're doing whatever, it should not be over 100 seconds or like you're filming videos of your dog, which I definitely do videos of and with my dog, but... I mean, they're not like a hundred second videos <laughs> of my dog. Well, see, my thing is if you are at a concert and your Snapchat story is 200 seconds long, are you really even at the concert? Like, are you very watching true. or enjoying the concert or are you filming the entire thing? Like, it's very true. But I feel like they, like, they, okay, the thing with like Snapchat sometimes I feel like is people are like, Oh, I want to show that I'm at this concert. I want you to know that I'm having a good time when well, you're sitting at home eating Cheetos on your couch watching Wilfred on Netflix. But okay. then again, I'm that person sitting at home watching Cheetos, watching Wilfred on Netflix. So I'm like, hey, they turn up. I want to watch their second because I have no friends. Okay understandable we get it the first picture or like two videos you have in your snapchat story that you're at like a concert or you're at a certain event or something we get that you're there um i don't think you need to have at least like 50 seconds for a certain event i mean unless you're that person like katie that would like to go ahead and like show off that you're there like that's great you're having a good time cool yeah. we get it okay then. so so i i think it's all right to have a, a hundred seconds depending on what you're doing but just a word of advice it, don't annoy your friends but then there's people like me who have no friends and just want to be loved an okay thing to do <laughs> on want to be loved an okay thing to do on snapchat is post as many selfies as you want because really who freaking cares but like on the other okay, hand but then you go who freaking cares but then you throw uh, you're getting mad because it's like 200 seconds long okay so what if they post selfies that are two like what like 200 second long selfies okay boom shakalaka then that is not okay then you need to tone it down to like three seconds per selfie okay what is that <laughs> okay so basically you know my car started beeping so we forgot what we were saying so we're gonna move on let's move on to instagram insta oh my gosh i love insta insta is insta. my fave insta is my favorite social media site ever so you want to start this one? Okay. Okay. I personally think it is okay to post two posts a day on Same. Instagram. Unless there are two different selfies. But that's just me. Okay. <laughs> I'm really weird about Insta. Like, and it bothers me because like, okay, I'll post a selfie of my makeup, right? Get like 70 to like a like 96 likes right but then i post a picture with my friends and i get like 60 i'm like okay okay but but anyways that's that's just one of my pit peeves about insta i just thought i'd share it with you anyways um but something about insta that like she said is two pictures per day now i taught if i post two pictures a day which i rarely ever do rarely um i time them so if i post one at 12 I'll post another one at maybe four or five okay. separate hours apart so when people are like refreshing they're like oh my gosh just kidding That's and then they refresh reasonable. again and they're like 
Oh my gosh, just kidding. And I'm not gonna like that picture at all because, like, uh, really though, she's getting on my really nerves. Really though? Really though? Really? 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 Literally, literally, literally? Did you really just post Did you two really in just do that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, We're another thing about like posting pictures on Instagram, I have a good one. your caption should not be a freaking essay. Or okay? a quote from like, oh, okay, like I'm okay with like a quote from like a song, but not the whole freaking verse. Exactly, like you like, don't, it, your caption does not need to be more than a sentence or too long. Like those couples, okay, no offense, do whatever you want. I love you. It's baby. just a pet peeve. Oh my god. But if you post a picture with you and your boyfriend, you and your girlfriend, whatever, and you literally have like a timeline talking about y'all's relationship that nobody cares about. Don't post it. Nobody cares about your Honestly, relationship. Though, they yeah. don't want to know. You can say, I love you or, oh, love my life, whatever. No, cool. wait. When they do that on their Women Crush Wednesdays, Man Crush Mondays, every Monday and every Wednesday, we get that you're going to have the same Man Crush Monday, Woman Crush Wednesday, whatever. For like the next two weeks until you break up. Freaking exactly. Can you get it? Okay, wait. I have a really good one. Filters. Oh, <laughs> I, I got. I oh, got and I have another. Up. Okay, this Filters. is one of my pet peeves on. Okay, Insta, and it didn't used to be because I used to do it until recently. Like I deleted. I okay. I had nine hundred pictures on Insta, and I deleted them all, and now I have like. Okay, I forty-five. Had like, I had like six hundred. Now I only have like maybe seventy-five. I think. So one of my pet peeves is when people don't do the white gram. They just put the picture, and it's like a square. Okay. My pet peeve is when they put the white borders and then throw an edit over and the white borders are no longer white. They're like, oh, oh yellow. Over it, yeah. That's yeah, I don't like that either. Do the filter, the then the white out. Exactly. Uh, but, okay, I do filters, excuse me, I do filters on mine, but I tone it down to where it still looks like it's natural. Like, don't freaking plop Valencia over it and don't <laughs> move the freaking, you know, you yeah, know. Thing. The dial thingy. <laughs> Just <laughs> and get a new app oh my with gosh. new like editing filters and stuff because the Instagram ones get old. Okay, go get like VSCO camera or something like that because you need to switch it up in your life a little bit. So I'm one of these crazy people with Insta. I have an app that shows me if you unfollow me. Same. I watch you. <laughs> I just want you to know that if you unfollow me, I'm not gonna keep following you. <laughs> I was like, uh, I hate. Okay, yeah, I hate those people. Like, I hate I it. can don't freaking follow me if you're gonna unfollow me like two days later. Okay, exactly. And I hate those those girls that are like, I can tell when somebody unfollows me. I can see whatever. Blah blah. blah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna unfollow you if I don't Anyways, like your post. Yeah. Like if you post twelve pictures in the last ten minutes of a photo. Okay, another thing not to post on Instagram that I will unfollow you instantly if you post a picture of yourself crying and saying <gasps> some right? stupid quote. Oh my gosh. I'm yes. fine. Or whatever. Yes. You are an attention W word and nobody likes those. Okay? <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, you're so right. Oh, Or like, okay. Are we getting worked up about Instagram? We really are though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't like when I go and look at my Instagram and I have three selfies in a row and then there's like a picture of me and a friend and then me out and then two more selfies. I try to like space it out sometimes oh, yeah. so it's not just my face over and over again. I don't have friends. I don't go out so mainly it's just my selfies <laughs> and me and my dog. I love your dog. Thanks. She loves you. She's soft. So lastly we're going to talk about Twitter. Basic, basic, well, basically, we're just going to say a couple things like we don't like. One of my biggest things I hate on Twitter that people do is subtweet. Like, yes. just, at, just at them. If you are going to complain about them and talk about them and say shiz about them, just at them or DM them or do whatever the heck you're going to do. I will admit, I've subtweeted before, but I don't care. Any well anymore. I, I okay, I've subtweeted before, but like now I'm like, I don't give a crap. I will at you and whatever. Okay, my biggest pet peeve is putting your business all out there, like personal information out on like Twitter. Like phone numbers? No, more like 
personal things about you and your relationship True. or if you're fighting with a friend and you're like, I hate how blah, blah, blah does blah, blah, blah. And you're like really out there. Nobody cares to see it. It just causes more drama. And really, it's just kind of pointless. Too dramatic. And then someone that's following you goes and tells someone that you're saying stuff about this person. That person starts saying stuff about you. And then it's this big thing. I know. Another one of my big pet peeves is when people complain okay we complain Me. all the time we complain on social media whatever but if you keep going at it like nobody that's all wants, you tweet exactly that's all nobody you wants to see you crying go to facebook or start a group message with your <laughs> friends and cry to them because nobody else cares maybe your friends will care or people on facebook like For i just real? said but i don't know i'm trying to think of things so they go it's not a bad thing but they go on like one person's account like the puppy account or like uh, like the ones that say a lot of stuff just get a lot of retweets you know what i'm saying like okay so like the recycled tweets maybe they like just retweet them over and over and over and over again i have to mute them because it's so annoying it's like stop i'm so happy that twitter now has mute i know right? it's, it's like because you don't really want to follow but, like, them but like you, know you can just mute them and life is great great just great 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 dandy awesome fantastic i'm all great <laughs> I'm all Greg. I'm all Greg. I'm all Greg. So I think that's it for Twitter. Yeah. There's really no other social media sites that people really, really use. use, to be honest, yeah. So that was it for our little rant about social media. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Star, for joining me You're again. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Stay fierce. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, right? Oh, I paused too long. Okay, ready? <laughs> what? This is a bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh we're just got it, and it's on my finger. Ah, it's on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> if, if, oh, oh, oh my god, did I like burnt when I did that. It was like a, anyways, snap. I don't, so that was it about our little rant. Oh, no. So that, <laughs> no, 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 no.